Hello everyone, this is Siddharth Patel, Assistant Professor from the Department of Political Science and Public Administration, the Bhopal School of Social Sciences. In this video, we are going to learn about Political Theory Basics and Politics Basics. Basically, we are going to understand what is Political Theory and what is Politics. Now, human beings are unique in two aspects. We all human beings are unique from animals in two aspects. The first being reason and second being language. Now, what do you mean by reason? The ability to think. And what do you mean by language? The ability to express. We can think and express ourselves differently from animals. Human beings poses reason and we reflect our ability to think and use our language to communicate with each other. Now, political theory has its roots in twin aspect of human self. Now, we will relate how political theory is related to human beings or how political theory is related to human self or human nature. Now, political theory analyzes certain basic questions. Now, what types of questions like what is liberty? What is equality? What is justice? You know, we all are fighting for justice. We all are fighting for liberty. We all are fighting for democracy. We all are fighting for rights. Political theory also analyzes how society should be governed, that how society should be governed, which form of government is best. It is a democracy or monarchy or aristocracy on an, and on what values this society or this society should be governed. Now, why do we need a government? Political theory also question on why do we need a government. Can we live without a government? Imagine our country having no government, having no parliament, having no judiciary. Can we imagine our country like that? So what happens if there is a no government? Now which is the best form of government? Again, democracy, parliamentary form of government, monarchy, military rule, which form of government is best? Does law limit our freedom? Like you have heard various times in the news also that we all are fighting for freedom. Azadi. We want freedom. So does law limit our freedom or it enhances our freedom? This question is answered through political theory. What does state own to its citizen? What does state give to its citizens? Now, what do we owe each other as a citizen? What do we owe each other as citizen? How do we behave each other as citizen? How do we live in a society as a citizens? So these questions will be answered through political theory. That is why political theory is very much important in our day-to-day -day life. And that is why all political science students studies political theory. Now political theory rev revolve around the value of political life. Basically, the value of political life means in politics, we talk about freedom, equality and justice as just I have explained you that all the institutions are working for these things only. The parliament is trying to make laws that ensure justice. The parliament is making the laws that ensure equality. The parliament is making laws that ensures or that enhances our freedom. Supreme Court is working for the justice. Supreme Court is working for the equality. Supreme Court is working for the freedom. Our government is working for the justice, executive are working for equality and executive are also working for justice. So all the institution, whether the even the administrative units in the district are working for these principles only like freedom, equality, justice, rights, democracy, all the institutions are moving in this direction only. Now political theory explain and meaning explains meaning and significance of these values and other related concepts. Basically, political theory define the meaning of these concepts. Now, what are the concepts? Again, the same. Liberty, equality, justice, democracy, rights. Political theory define the meaning or significance of these concepts. With the help of ideas of some of the major political thinkers of past as well as present, it also examines the extent to which freedom or equality are actually present in the institution that we participate in. In political theory, we usually study the thinkers of past and present. Like we study the view of Plato, that what Plato has told about us, like of justice. 
like what Mahatma Gandhi has said on justice, what Mahatma Gandhi has said on democracy, what Rousseau has talked on equality, what J.S. Mill has talked on freedom. So, in political theory, we examine the ideas of major thinker of past as well as as well as of present. That's what is happening in current scenario and the views of the current thinkers or the current leaders that how they view freedom, equality, justice and so on. Now, political theory at an advanced level. It looks at whether the existing definitions are adequate and how existing institution, government, bureaucracy and policy practice must be modified to become more democratic. Now, in political theory at advanced level, now we are talking about at advanced level. In advanced level, we talk about the existing definition of liberty is correct or not. Do we need to change the definition of liberty? Do we need to change the definition of justice? Do we need to change the definition of democracy? So, in political theory at advanced level, we look at the traditional definitions that are given by political theorists that these definitions are correct or not. Now, what is the objective of political theory? To train citizens to think rationally about the political question and assess the political event of our time. Now, the objective or the sole purpose of the political theory is to train the citizens to think rationally. These concepts will help you to think rationally that whether you are having justice or whether you are entitled with the rights or that whether you are having liberty or equality or not. These political theory, the, the concept of the political theory helps you to think better on these concepts. When you go for an election or when you go for an voting, then you think that what government has done for me in last five years. So basically we will talk about that government has provided justice or not, that government has given me rights or not, that government has enhances my freedom or not, that, govern, that government has worked for the equality or not. So, the political theory's objective is to train its citizens to think rationally, to question the existing phenomena, to question the traditional things that are there in the society. Now, what is politics? It is all about the political theory. Now, let us talk about what is politics. The word politics is very common. When you are talking with your father, you have heard that politics in day-to-day -day news or in or in newspaper or even in the class or anything you have heard that my friend is doing politics sir, that the teacher or that someone else is doing politics sir. So the word politics is very common in our day to day life. We use the word politics in our day to day life. You will have noticed that people have different idea about what politics is. For some the politics is public service. Now let us talk about politics in political science. For some, the politics is like public service, like you have heard various leaders or so-called netas that we are in politics for the betterment of public, that I am contesting election for the betterment of public so I can deliver more. So for some, the politics, for some, the politics is like a public service. But for the other, the politics is manipulation, scam, ways to promote self-interest. Like for some other, the politics is like scam, you have heard about scams and everything. For some other, the politics is for self-interest to earn more and more money. So the definition of politics also vary from one person to another. For one person, the politics may be for the service of the people, but for the another, the politics is for the self-interest. We thus confronted with the conflicting images of the politics. So we have a conflicting images of the politics, one showing the negative image, the another is showing the positive side of politics. Is politics an undesirable activity that we, sh that we should stay away or get rid of? Is it a worthwhile activity which we must engage in order to make a world better? Now here are these two questions that should we engage in politics or it is not a worth activity we should leave politics and we should focus on our career. For some says we should be there in politics because ultimately when the youth of the country will participate in the political activity of an organization then only a country will be developed. So for some the politics we the youth must enter in the politics but for the other it says that you must focus on your career you should stay away from the politics it will ruin your life. So we have two confronted definition or two confronted questions over there. 
Now in society, we are required to take decision. Required to take decision, why? Because there is a scarcity of resources and we have to distribute these resources among the member of its society. Regarding the multiple needs and interests of the member, in society, the members or the citizens are present, they have a multiple interest. Everyone has their different wants. Everyone wants to do something different. So in society, we need to take decision. The government has to take decision that these demands must be fulfilled and these demands should be should not be focused. We, we will be focusing on these demands after next five years or after next 10 years. So in society, the government is required to take decision, take decision on the basis of what is good for the society and what is most important right now in the society. Some form of political organization and collective form of decision making is essential. Emergence of various political institutions and among such institutions, government play an important role. So there are various institutions present in the society which take the decision. But the government is the most important and the most crucial one to take the decision to distribute goods and resources in the society. Now, politics is not only confined to the affairs of the government. Politics is not confined to the affair of the government. Relation between politics and government. There is a huge relation between government and politics. Sometimes we often use these two words synonymously, politics or government, or sometimes to call government, we say it is a politics. Now, government influences the life of the people. Good decision make the better life of the people. But when the government take bad decision, it ruins the life of the people. Since the action of government affects us deeply, therefore people should take interest in what, govern, in what government is doing. Since every decision taken by government is influenced on us, since every decision taken by government impact us, so we should take an active role in politics because the decision taken in New Delhi automatically impact us. The decision taken in US White House, it automatically impact the citizen of the US. So the citizen should actively participate in the politics. Now we should come to a conclusion what we have read or what you have understand right now. Politics arises from the fact that we have different vision of what is just and desirable for us and our society. It involve, it involve multiple negotiation related to, it involve what government should do and how they relate it to the aspiration of the people. So in conclusion, we can say that we all have different form, we all have different definition of justice. For me, the justice is something different. For you, the justice is something different. For someone else, the definition of justice will be absolutely different. For me, the concept of equality, for me, the concept of politics is different from yours. But we should take actively participate in the politics. We should focus on what government is doing because the decision taken by government influence directly on the citizens. Now, there is a people struggle. It involves how people struggle and influence their decision making. We as a citizen, we are struggling. Why we are struggling? We are struggling to make, to make our demand fulfilled by the government. We are struggling so that government focuses on us. If you have noticed the newspaper or if you have read or if you have watched the news very clearly, you, mi you might have witnessed that people are fighting. Why they are fighting? They are fighting that government should listen to their demand. So every citizen, every group of people are fighting so that their demands must be fulfilled by government. So their demand must form into a policy and government must try to develop th that sort of section. So people may be said to engage in political activity whenever they negotiate with each other and take part in collective activities which are designed to promote social development and help to resolve the common problem. So that is why people take actively participate in the politics because we have interest and government is functioning or government is working for us. So it was all about political theory. First, we have understood what is political theory. Then we have understood what is politics. Hope you have enjoyed this session and hope you have got the everything. So see you next see you soon in the next video thank you